Morning guys, well we are five days away from the UK BFF British Finals, uh, today being five days out. Um, and uh, this is the last video I'm actually going to do for you. Uh, I'm still running in a depletion uh, phase. Uh, I'm going to do a chest workout today and I'm particularly excited about taking you through the chest workout and letting you see how I do things. Mainly because I, like so many people, have suffered with shoulder problems, um, especially from playing rugby for many, many years and suffering a lot of injuries. So, whilst in the off season I will work on heavy lifts, the biggest biggest thing that's made the hugest impact in my chest training is learning how to contract um, and then learning how to kind of extend the sets, create a lot of ranges, different angles, but maintain contraction on my chest at all times. Now, I'm not actually going to be working with a, a trainer today, no one's going to be pushing me, I'm going to be pushing myself. Um, so uh, I'm going to knuckle in headphones on and uh, you're going to see uh, what I do and hopefully pick up some tips. So I'll speak to you in a bit. People are going to be thinking, why is he doing a decline uh, Smith machine press? Well, one is a variation, but two, as you probably see, I've got a big scar on my shoulder. And stability in my shoulder, because I had the ligament shortened, is not as good as, uh, say, somebody who has uh, really, really strong and healthy shoulders. I have an internal rotation in this shoulder which has been caused from the operation. So no matter how much I stabilize, I still have some instability. Doing the Smith machine allows me to lock in, lock down, and concentrate on my chest. I'm bodybuilding. I'm not focusing on just pure raw strength. So it locks me in, I can concentrate on my pecs, and I've had way much more growth from uh, using techniques such as the Smith machine.
might be asking why I'm wearing my belt for chest. Well, you probably noticed on the first couple of exercises I didn't really. When it comes to chest training, your posture and your ability to maintain your posture is absolutely essential. And one of the ways I personally can tell whether I'm maintaining my posture and what's something that gives me a lot of help with my posture is the ability to contract my midsection whilst keeping my chest up. So if I'm pushing against the belt and I'm keeping my chest up, I know I can categorically keep the contraction on my chest. If I flex over, I really lose that ability to push against the belt. So it's not too tight. It's not anywhere near where I would do for kind of back training or leg training. But I find it essential to, especially going through some of these exercises in a giant set format when fatigue sets in, it reminds myself to, to really, really keep my chest up and really push against the belt to maintain that stability. That's the last workout that I'm going to share with you uh, in this Road to the British series. Um, as always, you know, I'm continually putting out uh, uh, material for you to hopefully inspire you and teach you a little bit more uh, to help you achieve the physique that you've always wanted. Um, I've got another workout tonight, um, potentially another depletion day tomorrow, and then my carb load is going to begin. Uh, I've done absolutely everything I can. Um, I'm extremely proud with the progress that I've even made in the last three weeks. Um, you've seen a little bit of posing at the end of this video and the other two videos. You've probably been able to pick out the differences and how quickly my physique changes from day to day. Um, that's the nature of, of doing what we do, you know, uh, doing what I do. Manipulating carbohydrates and water, and low carb days and high carb days, just play with your mind, it's played with my mind crazily. But I've learned to deal with it because at the end of the day, it's only about that end product on the stage and what the judges see. So I know that I will be in the best condition of my life, dry, hard and full, come Sunday. I'm very grateful for you guys watching these videos and sharing them if you have. Keep up to date with my uh, news feeds on Twitter and Instagram, Mark Coles M10, uh, Twitter at M10 Fitness and my uh, bodybuilder page as well as M10 Fitness as the business. Um, and I'll speak to you soon.